What up? All right. It's 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 me. There's no one else here. Oh, what's that? Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. What a surprise. It's me again. I'm still here. We got an interesting stream for you guys. We're actually going to continue finishing Panic at the Disco's discography. Now, of course, Avdara over here has heard both the albums that I'm going to be listening to. Uh, and I did go halfway through Pretty Odd yesterday, but I feel like we need to just kind of, you know, reboot. Don't you agree? Yes, definitely. Yes. We need to kind of get back into the mood, all right? Everything has to be a mood for you emos, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, so it's all about vibe. It's all about mood. So we're, we got a special uh, thing for you guys today. So, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, first song, my opinion on it was basically... That it is really an awful way of starting off an album. It is so unconfident. Is that a word? Probably not. No. All right. So is let's. It? I don't think so. Wait. No. All right. We're so starving. The first track. I showered, guys. Relax. I just happened to grab the same shirt. Okay. Feel bad for a dart. She's got to deal with me. I'll say why I don't like this song, well, mostly the existence of the song. It sounds all right, you know, and I, I didn't really realize that yesterday. I do like the sound of the song. Uh, I'd say a little better than yesterday, but definitely not substantially. Nine in the Afternoon was a song that I believe I thought was meh. So, you know, let's, let's see if this, I guess, is a little better. It can't fix that. Google, of course. Yeah, still a boring song. Yeah. I find this song really boring. Uh, don't tell Adara. Did you hear that? Yes. Yeah, alright. So this song, my opinion has not changed. In fact, I'd say it's probably more boring than it was yesterday. Uh, substantially <laughs> more boring. Quite the snoozer. Holy crap. Wow. I am I am falling asleep right here. All right, uh, next song, of course, she's a handsome woman. A song I really liked yesterday. I I'm having a weird shuffle of emotions, cause like initially I like this song, you know. I still like it, but it definitely doesn't have the same punch or grab that it had yesterday. I think it's just that the lyrics kind of stink. You don't pay attention to the lyrics. <laughs> Adara, the emo expert, doesn't pay attention to the lyrics, you guys. I pay attention to the lyrics of the song, so I'm supposed to be doing it then. She only pays attention to 21 Pilots lyrics. That's not true. Don't I... say that. <laughs> it's not wrong, but don't say it. <laughs> Adara's mom is texting her. Hi, Adara's mom. We here at Bradley Studios made sure to make the volume loud enough so that you cannot hear what Adar is saying. It was strategic. <laughs> okay? All right, what's your opinion on this song? I, I don't have anything against this song. I hate it. She doesn't even like this song. It's not I don't like Why the song. Why is that? But I thought you said this was a great album. Drags on a little bit. Drags on a little bit. That's a good way of putting it. Except for, <laughs> weirdly enough, yesterday, I felt like it, it locked me in. Here, it's just when it fails to lock you in, it really stands out as a snoozer. Yeah, now it's getting really boring. Alright, do you know what I'm seeing? I know what I'm seeing ads. I thought the rhyming here was so boring. It definitely sounds like he was high. I know everyone's telling me he was, so... Obviously. It sounds like it. Oh yeah, that's right, this was the wrong version. That, that, that happened yesterday. Uh, but, I guess, I already kind of gave my opinion on this song. Uh, I thought that the ending kind of picked it up a bit, but yeah, yeah, it was an all right song. All right, solid all the way through. You're right, it is the wrong version. Uh, thank you, Chad. All right, uh, next one, The Green Gentleman. More ads. Oh, now ads. Word. Roll credits. I'm already bored. No. Yeah. This song, originally, I thought it was okay, right? Oh, actually, yeah, damn, I like this song. And now you don't? No, it falls in the same category as the last ones. It's... It's it's good, but not great. I definitely still like this, but it's not. It doesn't have that same shock factor as it did yesterday. You, know? <laughs> you guys are my favorite emos. <laughs> I'm not emo. I will rip you out of the chat and 
beat you up in front of all these people. I have friends in holy spaces. I don't even remember this. Oh, it was this garbage. This song sucks. Next one. Uh, yeah, what? I already heard this song. But yesterday, this song sucks. That was like seven seconds. It's just boring as shit. Oh, I it's down sampled for no that's reason. Not, that's not fair. You're, 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 what? <laughs> it's terrible. No. Next song. Uh, Northern Downpour. <gasps> She's having the same reaction as chat. XD. 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 Just like broken glass to me. Moon, don't you go down. I think Adara is gonna gonna lose her mind. I will say that the thing that sold me on this song was the harmonizing at the end, definitely, uh, when I first heard it. But I thought that it generally was just eh, starting off. I'm okay, by the way. God, you should be stop concerned. Stop crying, chat! <laughs> Grow up! I will ban everyone who's crying at home. Alright. <laughs> Adara is asking for us to move on. I love the song dearly. I, I'll sit down so I don't cry. Next song, uh, When the Day Met the Night. I believe I might have made it all the way through here. I don't remember. Uh -huh. Fuck you, Google. You're rich enough. So sad. Siri, play anything that isn't Panic at the Disco. Turn on pilots? No. Fall No. Stop. No! What is with this long? Ooh, sounds prog rocky. In the summer of 69. A sweet voice here. Sounds off. Oh, I remember. I did listen to this song. It was very uh, lame. Yeah, very lame song. Holy sh! This song is boring. This is five minutes long, and I'm already bored. Adara, if she keeps this up with this disagreeing bullshit, you're not gonna be seeing a lot of her. Okay. All right. This song's boring. Now we get to the first song of today. That we have not heard yesterday, okay? Uh, it is Pasty Chevelle. <laughs> Already, it doesn't stop. <laughs> Avo Pass the shovel. Pass the, pass the shovel. <laughs> stop, Google. How many ad spaces did you buy out? Holy <laughs> sh! All right, all right, all right. Open minded. What is this album going for? <laughs> it has this really boring southern rock flavor to it. Also, you, you skip this song. I agree with Adari here, mostly because this song is so out of place. This southern rock like feel. What is this doing here, chat? What is this doing here? Look, forgettable. Doesn't need to be here. Boring as shit. It's a female emo. The pressure is high, you guys. <laughs> All right, the piano knows. All right, okay. Can we talk about this video real quick? What the fuck? All right, we can't skip this. They don't want to skip. All right, we want to skip. We want to skip. Oh, I can't take. Okay, I can't watch this video. I can't look at the haircuts. This video is giving me legma. Look at it. The legma spreading to my bloodstream. Adara, do you know what a subgenre is? <laughs> yes. Hey, what's up, Guy Fear? <laughs> yeah, this is a mess. Of subgenres it is going for so many different styles of rock it's like jack of all trades master of none no this is not good what the fuck what was this made in like the kid's basement this is bad is it over nope no. still got a minute 30 seconds god damn. stop with the hair bullshit <laughs> it wasn't funny the first time i can't even listen to the song with this shit. chat it's time to vote if we should uh, kick Adara off the island, off the Bradley show. <laughs> One for yes, let's get rid of her. Two for uh, she could stay, okay? Many people are saying to kick you off. Kick me off? <laughs> that, what? That, you didn't make that enough. What? Three, three for kicking what you off. What the Video aside, I might have enjoyed... No, I can't. I can't. I couldn't have enjoyed that with this video. Let's be real here, chat. I cannot be fair to this song with a video like this. Because I, I have a tough time basically being open-minded when I see the edgiest out-of-date video possible for this song. I cannot be fair. I hate that. I am super fair when it comes to music, okay? Playboy Cardi came out with one of the best albums of the year. That is a fact, okay? But if I was to say, I'd just average it out. It's about 
meh. Realistically, some of the harmonizing was kind of cool. But besides that, it's meh. Uh, behind the sea. How is the f What? What the f Who is singing this shit? Ooh, that guitar riffs. Hold on. These progressions are really good. It's simple, but effective. I like this vibe a lot. This is a good vibe. It's it's halfway through the song and I'm not bored. That's impressive. I will say that it's done a good job of getting me into the sound, you guys. I like this. I do like this. Hey! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! So Beatles, yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Part of me likes this instrumental, but not the vocals. No copyright intended. Feel by ramen. They're still gonna take your video down, jackass. Uh, yeah, that song. I like that. I genuinely thought that that was a sweet tune. It's not bad. Uh, definitely listenable. Fucking around. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say that there's a good chance that this is gonna suck? Alright. Oh! They weren't kidding. Yeah, oh, what the fuck? They were not kidding. Jesus. Yeah, oh, you're exaggerating, alright. Yeah, tractors! I did consider doing TikTok at one point. I'd be successful at it, but it sounds like hell. Oh. This reminds me of that one filthy Frank song, uh, the, the pink guy song, the white is right song. First I keep my sister, then I keep my mom. Just cause it's so overly top, like over the top, out of nowhere folk. You can't try to tell me a serious story when your song is called Folking Around and it sounds like this. Someone just suggested that I do a live stream where I view the emo TikToks while listening to emo music. No! Alright, she had the world. She held the world up Extraordinary girl. No? I don't love Yes, it's alright. Is that Ryan Ross? I'm learning my. Getting better. You are coming No! 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 Stop! I don't want this knowledge. What is this going for? He smelled instrument like a diamond! Because when I look at her eyes, I just see the sky. Cliche. If I knew how to lie, pretentious. Edgy. Come on! Don't wait in a line at the sea to see if I can catch a dream. I like this instrumental a lot. I will give it that. Ah. Okay, the instrumental, while probably being one of the least organized things on this whole album, because it just transitioned to this like medieval organ in the end. I'm just like, what the? F uh, it was okay. I thought it was okay. Okay. Lyrics suck though. It's just a mental. It's the <laughs> mental. Is this even part of the album? This album has no distinct sound. Sounds like something they were trying to do with Fever, but it's done better. If you go and then go. I love and hate albums like these where I just have these weird mixed feelings. Like, I can't say I li really like this, but it just consistently throws shit at me that I'm like, what is it doing? Because it seems like a mess and I have to consistently, like, say, is it done right or done poorly? And I have to keep trusting myself in, in all these weird situations. Here, for example, really? This is the direction it goes? It's just... It's weird. I don't know how to interpret this. It doesn't feel like a satisfying place to go, but it's done okay, but it's still a mess. Are you judging these songs individually or as, as an album? Each song is like its own what the oh. f moment. Yeah, but if you just think about them as like individual songs, it's probably better. But, it's not exactly the most cohesive album. Oh yeah, this is not a album album. This is more like a uh, mixtape. 
Okay. Um, I will say that I've been on the more positive side throughout the general, I guess, length of this album, but, you know. None of their albums, their first album was cohesive. It was cohesively but it was cohesive. I can admit that. Am I out of the frame? I am. Hey! Hey! It's gonna take off! How is this song called A Mountain in the Middle of the Cabins? And I think of a tropical environment. Like, you screwed up. That's, really? That, that's... Yes! I don't think of a mountain in the middle of the cabins. This sounds so tropical. We here at the Brad Show give the honest and truthful critiques, no matter how weird. The elements of this, it's definitely not a tropical song, but like it has these weird little uh, bips and boops. <laughs> Sprinkle there. Don't you dare make fun of me. And there it is again. Instrumental. I wish, no, I got nothing. I'm not even gonna make a joke here. This video came out 2008, you guys, 2008. The whistling, like, what is this song? As a band, you have to at least establish your sound. And now I will say they've done that on this album. I will admit, a dark can vouch for me here. They did a good job at building an idea and a sound. They clearly yeah. wanted to go for this older type of uh, aesthetic while still kind of having this rock, you they know. They made the Beatles emo. Beatle, okay, actually, yeah, yeah, that's fair. However, the Beatles knew what they were doing. <laughs> that's why they were successful, okay? This, this is, this is a jerk-off fest. Isn't that a great way of putting it? It is. They're, they're like, trying to, you could tell they were high because it sounds like they were high. Last song, okay? Mad as Rabbits. What? What did he just say? Don't you remember when I was a bird and you were a map? You! What is that metaphor? Is that even a metaphor or is he just hot? Whoa! That's one hell of a remix right there. What the f*** is going on? I don't think this is how it's supposed to sound. I might be wrong. Is this like the Glitchcore remix? The demons! The demons. The demons. Oh, there we go. All good, you guys. The demons are gone. I was scared of the Not a very exciting exit. Oh, I don't need to see pictures. It's almost over. No, give me my bottle back. What? Oh, it's even worse. You know, okay, it's not because it's not explosive. It's because it's mush. It's like, eh. It doesn't need to be this long. I don't like the lyrics. They're just boring. What the? F Who is that? It is. It's very cringy. It's very 2010. Phil Lester, more like Mo Lester. Got him. That was bad. <laughs> Get out of my space! You've moved my rusting. <laughs> oh, it's over! Thank God! Holy <laughs> shit! All right, you guys. That's it. All right, you guys. That was pretty odd. <laughs> I'm so funny, you guys. Please send me money. I'm, I'm not laughing. It's serious, all right? It's serious mode, you guys. That was pretty boring. I can say with full confidence. Actually, no, I can't. I can't say with full confidence. But I can say that I was not impressed. Yesterday, I thought that, yeah, it was listenable. It had some highlights to it. Today, yeah, it's listenable. It has some highlights to it. But it also has a lot of <laughs> moments. A lot of awful, like, I don't know how to word this, but... Some of the choices made for the vocals and instrumentals are just abysmal. Like, folking around. Are you kidding me? The title said what it was. It's your fault for... It doesn't talking. matter if it said what it was. It doesn't make it good. It was bad. It was terrible. All right, you guys. I'm going to let Dar take over for a second. <laughs> I screwed something up. It's time for your opinion. On, on Pretty Odd? Yes. Look how great I look in these shorts. <laughs>
on the music review right now. It's All my right. show. <laughs> now, right, you're, guys. now you're tiny. Look how tiny you are. <laughs> this is how it's gonna be from now on. Pretty odd. Um, not my favorite, honestly. But I do like the feel of it. I've always been drawn towards that that Beatles vibe. Hey, come down, set! I still see you! <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> let's let's talk about the individual albums. So, uh, I'll, I'll ask you, like, interview questions. Sure, type okay. Things. Okay, all right. So, guitars, all right? Mm -hmm. Now, of course, the guitars I'd say on this album, for me personally, a uh, big highlight. Yes. I, I think that the guitar work here kind of highlights maybe why some of their future work feels a little flat. I, I don't know. Uh, what, what, what would you say? Maybe? It's not like I think the guitars are bad in their future albums, but... But there are no guitars. No, they're, they're very good in this album. Um, this album in particular, for sure. Ryan does a great job on, on the guitar. And I like his voice, too. His voice by is the way. so wimpy. Oh, my God. But yes, the uh, guitars are definitely a highlight. In terms of an album experience, what, what are your thoughts? Um, I feel like it drags on, honestly. Like, uh, I don't know. It, 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 the songs that are actually really short seem long. But, yeah. but I, I do pull a lot from like certain moments in the songs. If, if I were to actually be able to like sit through them all the, all the way through, I think... I could get some satisfaction. It's not my favorite album. <laughs> yeah, as a whole, it just leaves me, I, I guess, feeling like I didn't really get anything new. Like, anything worthwhile. Yeah, I, I agree. Songs definitely felt like they dragged on. Um, the flavor of it was so off. I just don't... Like, <laughs> you can't just call your album pretty odd and start off with an apology as saying, oh, we're sorry, guys, here's this album. Like, nah. No. I mean, it's called Pretty Odd, so it's, it's, pretty gonna, bad. it's gonna be pretty odd. It's more odd. like Pretty Bad. It's just not a fun, I guess, full experience. There were definitely no, it's not highlights. a full experience. Yeah, it, it just, it doesn't seem, like, complete or ambitious or even, like, well thought out. No, it just seems... But is it better together. than a fever you can't sweat out? Yes, and by a substantial margin. I will give it that. A fever you can't sweat out has so many points that are completely unlistenable. And I think that the production on this, at least, I, I like the aesthetic a lot better here. Uh, yeah, I think that there was no points on here where there was like a nails for breakfast or something. You know, sure, folking around was stupid, but, you know, it's it's it They're doesn't go fun. much further than stupid. They're having fun. Uh, yeah, but it's not good. Didn't you say something about that earlier today? Nah, nah, Big Baller B. Big Baller B does it for, for, the, for the community. All right, is there anything else you want to talk about with Sal? No. Alright, you guys. Chat. I want you to give your score out of 10 that you'd give this album. Alright? So, for me, I feel my general consensus is like light 6 area. I just don't... Oh. Yeah, no. I, I thought it was uh, positive overall. Like, I didn't really hate anything. That's the thing. Is There were the points that definitely felt pointless. But I didn't really hate it. And, and the highlights were high enough. I guess for me to say it's it's harmless, not something I come back to, but certainly listenable. I think you might be a bit more emo than I am. I wouldn't even rate it that high. No, I probably give it like a five. So I mean, that's around the same area. Just yeah, you know. but you still rated it higher than I did. Top of that book. He is the emo queen now. No. Oh. <laughs>